You touched on it there. Um, how happy are you with the front end of the team? Um, all the strikers seem to be chipping in with goals. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with you. We've got a, we've got a stats man, and he, he's he's great. He, we've got the VO, and he actually does all the stats from it. But we, um, if I'm being really kind of picky, we're scoring goals, but we should be scoring a hell of a lot more with the chances that we're creating, and not half chances. We're talking really, really good chances. So you know, it's one thing we keep we keep on banging uh, into the players. We need to be more more clinical and more ruthless up front, and, um, and that's something. That working on but listen I'd be more worried if you're standing here and you're saying oh you're not creating anything because you know we're creating and, and the guys are scoring but you've got to always strive to better yourselves and, and want more and more and more and that's, and that's what we do but I think our forward players will, will cause uh, any teams in this league problems when they're on when they're on song um, and, uh, and I, trust, I trust them to do that and that's what they're in the team for. Yeah, you sort of mentioned it there about the creating of chances. Um, you brought in Bradley Ryan um, last week from on a dual registration from Welling. How much of an impact has he made so far? Yeah, well, look, he, he comes training. I, I want to thank uh, Gary Fiore for that. Um, I played with Gary a long, long time ago, 35 years ago. We played on the same Sunday side. He's obviously director of football at Welling. Um, so I uh, spoke to Gary and, and he's happy to um, have a relationship between the two clubs, which seems obvious really, being that we share the same ground. And um, obviously Brad, Brad's one of them boys that's well known in the area. He was at Ramsgate last year and obviously we all know that he, he was at Chelsea as a youngster. Mm -hmm. um, the boy's just unbel got unbelievable ability. I mean, in training, he, his feet are a joke. Um, he does things that other people can only dream about, to be, to be honest with you. Um, but he's still a young kid. And, and what the idea is going to come to us is that he's going to develop and, and hopefully we can help him get back to where he wants to be and, and which is, you know, let's face it, a lot higher than, than the league that we're playing in at the moment. If we can, if we can play a small part in that, then we're happy to do so. But in answer to your question, I mean, Saturday was his first game for a long time. Uh, I thought he done really, really well. And then obviously he's only had one day's rest in between that. And although he's a young kid, personally, I, I just felt that he needs a little bit leggy. In the second half, so we, we, we took him out. But he's um, he's going to get fitter, and he's just going to get better and better for us. I think he's going to be more influential as each week goes by. How uh, you named the same starting eleven again uh, as you did on the weekend in the cup? How how helpful is it to be able to build consistency at this level? <laughs> you ask any manager, and that's the one big thing at this level where people are available. Um, you know, as players and they'll come up and reach, especially on the bank on every Monday, you know, what, you know, whatever other things they've got planned, etc. But the lads are buying into what we're doing, um, you know, the performance on Saturday speaks for itself. And for me to be able to just go in the dressing room, name the same side, exactly the same against Saturday boys, uh, and, and that continuity is just gonna it's gonna bear fruit now. Obviously it's difficult for the boys that, that ain't starting. You know, that are on the bench, but they'll get their chances. We've got lots and lots of games coming up, and there will be through unavailability and injuries, there will be changes. But if you can keep the core week in, week out, then you know that's um, that's a recipe for, for potentially success. So, ho hopefully, we can keep doing that. And, and quite frankly, I was never ever ever going to come here today after winning nine years Saturday and making any changes. Why, why the hell would you do that? You'd have to be mad. Yeah, fair enough. And just one last question. Um, we got over 200 people down here today for the game against Welling Town. How much of a help did that give the team? Look, this is a, a lovely stadium, and um, it doesn't matter if you've got 20 people, 50 people, or, or, or 5,000 people. You know, you should still play the same way, you should put the same effort in, and, and your value should still be the same. But there's no doubt about it. You know, when you look around and there's one, one man and it is gone. Around it, it's a little bit sort of soulless, um, but today you look around and there's people watching both sides of the stands and, and kind of enjoying the game. And you know, from a player's point of view, they they love they love it when there's more people. You know, they love they love the support and, um, and and yeah, it's a real incentive for them. And when when they're struggling or they might not want to make that little run back or that little that little tackle or little burst forward, if they're being encouraged from the sidelines, that, much, that just might make a difference between doing it and not doing it. So. So for us, um, as I say, we're thankful for whatever support that we get, but more than ever, and we welcome them, and we hope if we if we continue to do well, we might not see that rise continually you know, throughout the season, really, because you know we love it, the boys love it, and the, and the club love it as well, and um, the 
beauty of it is they can come to, to our games at this level, come in the bar, speak to the managers, speak to the players, get involved, have, you know, watch a game of football, have a burger and a beer and it's not just the earth. So, uh, so I, I'd encourage anybody if they're a loose in, 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 in their local, or even if they're not local, if they want to come down and, uh, and see us, please come to the game. and. I must say, the supporters are starting to get a bit excited. Well, you know, I'm going to temper that. It's a long season. This is only the third league game. You know, let's talk. Let's talk after Christmas and see where we are. I'm afraid I'm, I've always been one of their managers. I'm, you know, one game at a time. Um, anything can happen. It's certainly so. It's early days, uh, uh, but we just keep. We just keep trying to improve. Trying to trying to win games, grind it out, and as I say, let's see where we are after Christmas. And, uh, I'm I, I am, I've kind of got to stop myself from getting, from getting excited because I look in the dressing room, we've got a great bunch of boys, some, some very good players and um, you know, I think we've got, we've got ability wise what we need, it's a challenge uh, and there's some other very good teams in the league, it's going to be a really exciting title race this year but we want to be part of that, we want to be one of the teams that put us up there fighting to, uh, to, to get out of the league, that's what, uh, that's what the board want, the directors want it, we want it, the players want it. So, you know, I'm not saying we are going to do it, it's very early, um, we've chucked a, a group of players in, it takes time to build a team, don't care what the players are, you know, it always takes time, but I think for me, I'm, what I'm happiest about is we're probably a little bit ahead of schedule in terms of where I thought we would be uh, in, in team cohesion and Jelen and all the rest of it, I think mean, we're, we're, um, we're, looking, we're looking quite good at the moment, so let's keep trying to improve and as I say, let's, uh, let's see where we are, let's, let's keep our feet on the ground. And, Brilliant. Thank you for your time, Tony. No, thank really you. appreciate thank you it. For, uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity to, to talk to you. It's been great.